हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर सतीश एस बोरनारे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जेनेटिक्स एंड प्लान बिडिंग के के वॉफ कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टॉपिक सेंटर्स ऑफ ओरिजिन ऑफ क्रॉप सो फ्रेंड्स द साइंटिस्ट एन आई वेवलॉग इन 1926 एंड हिज कलीग्स एक्सप्लोर एंड कलेक्टेड वेरियस कल्टिवेटेड प्लांट्स देयर वाइल्ड एंड वेडी रिलेटिव्स फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड he explored all the cultivated plants and their resources and studied agromorphological pattern in relation to their geographical distribution reaction to the pest and disease and adaptation strategies and after that he published studies on the origin of cultivated plants which describe his theories on the origin of crops and according to the vavilov the most accepted definition of the centers of origin is a center of origin may be called as a center of diversity is a geographical area where a group of organism either domesticated or wild first develop its distinctive properties so in nutshell the centers of origins are the original homes of the crops in this diagram we can see the actual vavilov concept of the centers of origin or centers of diversity he divided the centers of origin into a eight different centers and having sub centers likewise the first is a chinese center then second is a indian center having two sub uh, sub centers that is main center as a hindustan and second is indo indo malayan center third one is a central asiatic center then near eastern center then mediterranean center then abyssinian center then south mexican and central american center and south american center and this last one is having three sub centers such as peruvian ecuadorian bolivian center chile center and brazilian paraguayan center so this is the center of origin or centers of diversity now we are seeing one by one in detail so first one is the chinese center the chinese center is the largest independent center which includes the mountainous region of central and western china and adjacent lowlands and total of 136 endemic plants are listed in this center among which a few known to us as an important crops so this chinese center is mainly a important center of origin or diversity for 136 plants and some of these are enlisted here we can see this in case of cereal and legumes then root tubers and vegetables fruits and nuts these are the different examples of that plants which are listed in chinese center according to the babelian then next is a indian center in the indian center there are two sub centers first one is the main center or indo burma region which includes assam and burma region but not uh, northwest india punjab or nor northwest frontier province and this sub center consist 117 that is 117 plants these are listed here then the second sub center in indian center is indo malayan center or sima malaya java center it includes indo china and malayan archipelago and having a 55 plants which are enlisted here we are not going to detail in each and every plants but in general these are the different examples of that particular center means the, these plants are evolved or having centers of origin under this center then third center is the central asiatic center which includes northwest india that is punjab northwest frontier province and kashmir 
Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and Western Taishan, Taishan, and includes 43 plants, some of which are listed here. Next to this fourth center is Near Eastern Center, which includes interior of Asia Minor, all of Transnistria, Iran, and highlands of. Turkmenistan and which includes 83 species or 83 different plants and having uh, the grain and legume forage plants and fruits. The examples are quoted here. Next to this, fifth one is a Mediterranean center. This center includes borders of the Mediterranean Sea and 84 listed plants are there. We can see over here the different plants and plants which are included in this Mediterranean center. We are not going, again we are not going to detail in each and every plants, but these are the list of the plants which are included in Mediterranean center. Sixth one is Abyssinian center or Ethiopian center. Includes Abyssinia, Eritrea and part of Somalia land and near about 38 species are listed. This Abyssinian center or Ethiopian center Ethiopian center is rich in wheat and barley, means wheat and barley having the origin in Abyssinia and Ethiopia. And these are the different plants are listed in this center. Then next one is the South Mexican and Central American center, which includes southern section of Mexico, Guatemala, Andres and Costa Rica. These are the different plants which are included in this seventh center of the centers of origin. Then last one is a South American center having 62 plants listed and having a three sub center. In first A sub center is Peruvian, Ecuadorian and Bolivian center. These are the different plants listed in this center of origin. Then second is Chile center and third is Brazilian Paraguayan center. So these are the three sub centers of South American centers and here are the different plants which are listed under these centers of origin. So this is the concept of centers of origin of N.I. Babylon. The another scientist Jack Harlan disagree with the association of centers of origin or centers of diversity with centers of origin. He argued that the origin of cultivated plants was diffuse both in time and space and this opposing view was arrived at form is observation that plant diversity appeared to the exhibit hybrid features in the, indicating they are likely arose from recombinations. He proposed a new concept of the centers and non-centers as below. According to him, there are centers which are in temperate and geographically restricted area and another are non-centers corresponding to their non at tropical areas means near east is the center and Africa is non center for that while north China is center and southeast Asia is non center while Mesoamerica is the center and South America is a non center according to him, each center has corresponding non center and the center contain wild relatives of many crop plants whose antiquity is established by archaeological evidence. It is from these centers that crop diffused to their geographically less restricted corresponding non-center. So this is the argument with the NI Babylon centers of origin. And another two scientists that is Darlington and Burkill also suggested that some variability could be attributed to the shift in civilization that brought about migration of crops, change in selection pressure and opportunities for recombination. So these two are the argument contrary to the Yanai Babylon centers of origin. So there are three types of centers of origin or centers of diversity. First one is the primary centers of diversity, then secondary centers of diversity and another concept is a micro center. So, the primary centers of diversity are region of a vast genetic diversity of crop plants or original homes of the crop plants. 
called as a primary centers of diversity and secondary centers of diversity as valuable form of crop plants are found far away from their primary areas of origin are called as the secondary centers of diversity while the micro centers are the small areas within the centers of diversity which exhibits tremendous genetic diversity of this some crop plants are called as a micro centers vavilo made other un unique uh, observation from his plant exploration and develop a concept a famous concept of a parallel series of variation or law of homologous series of variation so uh, this law stated that a particular variation observed in a crop species is also expected to available in its another related species which is very true for example uh, various cotton species like gossypium hirsuti and gossypium barbadens have a similar pubescence fiber color type of branching color of the stem and other features in a simple word if you observe a particular variation in crop species this is expected that this is also available available the same feature in its related species and which is very true so this law is given by n i vavilov and very famous law called as law of homologous series of variation so this video is for education purpose only and references are as below thanks thanks once again